Grown ups in between children and babies, right now it is your boy. Oh my god, Graham, one third of the Public Enemies podcast, and we are here with another episode of Behind Enemy Lines. And I've got my friend, a guest here, the one, the only listen, the man that you can count on, but you can't count out. Vinny Power Punch Pacifico, how are you doing, bro? What's going I'm on? I'm doing fantastic today. It's uh, been a really, really good day today. Uh, thank you for having me. Excited to be here and ready to go, as always. Listen, thank you so much for making time. Listen, I, I never want to take up too much time for anybody that I speak to, but I, I'm super, super excited uh, to sit here and chat with you today. Um, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and kick it off, man. Let's go oh, ahead yeah. and kick it off. Because honestly, like I've been seeing you out here for a while, just grinding and just getting to it. I mean, boots to the pavement, just really working anywhere. No no stopping right no stopping anywhere that you uh anywhere that you watch wrestling this gentleman has probably been under their employ he's worked under their banner you have been everywhere from like czw to doa new japan aw nxt even like not as yourself or whatever who cares you know what i mean but like you have been everywhere it's like my first question for you is is there is there any company that you haven't worked for that you want to work for or or is there a a particular place that you haven't been yet maybe like a rev pro or somewhere like overseas or something like that that you're just like "Mm, you know what like "Mm, i should be on that card i should be one of those guys and i should you know what i mean like let me know let me know definitely progress and rev pro (laughs) are two spots that i would love to work for of course new japan again was a debut for new japan was a beautiful thing i was very lucky and i was very fortunate to do that and it was amazing but definitely that's a place i want to go back aw would love to go back because aw is a beautiful amazing company they're just they're doing things that pff, no one's doing and it's just insane i love it but where i want to go i definitely would love to go back to new japan of course but i'm going i'm going to japan later this year um which is gonna be amazing that's a big uh, check off my goal list. But yes, definitely Rev Pro. Um, Progress is one of them. Definitely uh, Kaiju Pro. But it okay. wouldn't be as me. It would be as me in a costume, as some, as cosplaying, as <laughs> another thing. And I, I'd love to try that at least once in my career. Um, yeah. Love to work for Smash Wrestling in uh, Canada. That's a great place. Talking. Dynasty in Canada. There's a lot of really good places out there that I that I spoke to and would love to work for, but just timing, all that stuff. But I, I, I'm just constantly grinding, trying to get to new places, work for the same great places that I've already worked for, and just keep growing, you know, keep getting my getting everywhere I could be and bring the people I love with me. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, we talked about, of course, you've worked for AEW. You said that there's some places that you've worked for that you'd love to go back. And, you know, yeah. like the locker room there. I've, I've heard you like on numerous uh, interviews just uh, just uh, say how much you enjoyed it and like how uh, how much respect you have for a lot of the performers there and some people that you work with previously in Ring of Honor and things like that. Now, I saw a report uh, a few days ago that you were backstage at a recent collision taping was is is that something that you can confirm or deny <laughs> no yeah it, it was uh definitely was um and like i said many times before i said it again bar none the best locker room to be in everyone's amazing there um mike bennett like i i, I always put the people over He's because great. they're amazing to be around and people who are just yeah. good human beings and that's just what wrestling needs because wrestling has a lot of sh- had a lot of shitheads, and people need to just be around good people. I love being around good people. I love I'm like a magnet. I feel yeah. like to people who are, or I like. I, hope, I mean, I try to magnetize people who are good people because I've noticed a lot of my friends are really good human beings. And I, mm-hmm. you know, you have to just surround yourself with people who are good, want to get better, and have a have good values. And like I said, when at AEW, people who I've noticed or I talk to or I'm friends with great human beings great values and fun to be around you know good people people you feel good being around like yeah. another person who i could say is whenever i'm around them their vibes are just a1 cheeseburger mm-hmm. and rocky romero those are two people who when you're around you just feel better and you're in a yeah. better mood yeah you know what I'm saying? yeah i that's, feel that i feel that 
I, listen though, I get the same vibes from you. So it's like, okay. you know, each one teach one, you know what I mean? Like it rubs off on the next person, you know what I mean? So like for me, like when I see you, you're such a positive individual. Like you're you're always it just always seems to me like you just have something to strive for. Like so yes. being that you've been wrestling for what like 10 years now, like eight, eight, ten, almost, nine, almost almost like right in there. Okay, cool. So, so my question for you is like, what motivates you like to keep going? Like, what gets you up every day and just keeps you going after it? You know what I mean? Because like sometimes I'm sure it can be a grind, it can be tedious, yeah. uh, it can be like you know like f the fatigue wears on you. You know what I mean? So like, what gets you up and what keeps you going every day? That's a freaking great question. Yeah. So what keeps me going is a few things. This is like a level question. One, yeah. I love wrestling more than anything. Wrestling yeah. is just my world. I love wrestling. I will always, I want to get better every way I can, whether it be interviews, media, in ring. In ring has always been number one, but I'm also trying to also, as as of the last couple of years, I've been getting character promos in, and that has been my money, yeah. as you yeah. can see. Um, <laughs> but yes, like being good in ring is very important, but being a good character and get, mm -hmm. and everything around it, you just have to be a package deal, and that's yes. what I think I became. And I'm very blessed, but. That's one thing that motivates me is obviously I just love wrestling. I love the grind. I, I love I love the the grind of it. Being tied on on a plane, you know. I, last week I had I had a plane. I was on a plane last week in the middle seat. I was being two bodybuilders oh, next crap. to me, and like <laughs> we're, I'm like kind of big, but I'm not yeah. like you know. So I was crushed, and I had to sleep eight hours on a plane like that. And yeah. it was like it was pain. It, after a while, you know, you're in pain, whatever. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't change it for the world. Three weeks ago, I was I had three flights. I had a show in West Virginia, I had a show in Oregon, and I had a show in North Carolina. I had yeah. no sleep with plane sleep because every flight was that to back overnight to flight oh, to the next God. day. Picked up from the airport, go right to the venue, or I had some hotel sleep, but like one or two hours. Like so, Super I, I, I would yeah. <laughs> I would say like that's the grind that I love, even yeah. though it's very hard. And I'm just I'm blessed that I get to do it. I get to, I don't have to do it. I get to do it. That's my mindset, getting to do these things because yeah. there are people who wish they could do these things who aren't in the spot yet, will be, and whatever. But I just am very lucky that I get to do these things because it's what I've always wanted to do. And also, you... obviously, motivating others around me. Yeah, yes. My fiance, I want to motivate her. I do things for her. I love making her proud and, you know, make money. You know, that's that, that to grow. That's the whole point of everything is to grow and evolve and get better. So I want to always strive to be better for her, for myself, for my family. I have a, a nephew who's like 15 now or yeah. 14, whatever he is. And he's playing um, basketball in high school, where I went to high school, mm -hmm. same place. And he, he has my coach, when I, one of my oh, gym teachers, cool. whatever. And he says, hey, I have a tryout. Um, you have any advice? So I've had Evolve tryouts, be, uh, Beyond Wrestling. I had, a, I had tons of tryouts, right? Mm -hmm. And I've a lot of the tryouts I have, I've made the way and gotten to the next level from the tryout or picks from the tryout, I guess you could say. And um, he asked me my advice. And I said, dude, if I could do it, if I could ha do a tryout against mm -hmm. 20 other people and other people picked too as well, I'll put that out there. But I got, I was one of the people who were picked for things that, that were offered. And I said, if I could do it, so could you. There's nothing, there's no difference. If you work hard, that's it. And he's also like 6'2", taller than me. And I'm like, yeah. Nick, you could do this. This is like, if I could if I could do a tryout with 20 people and kill it and do really well, so could you. There's nothing different for me and you. We're both human beings. You know, that's how yeah. I put, that's how I believe. I believe like, no one, I'm not better than anybody. No mm. one's better than the next person. I mean, skill wise, yes, but anyone with hard work and the right mindset can get to that level. That's how I believe, you know, that's what I think. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. And like, you're such a hustler. Like you're out here, like I said, just getting to it. And so yeah. like when people see that work that you're putting in, then it's, 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 uh, it makes sense for somebody to come to you and ask you for your advice. Right. Cause it's yeah. like, they see the things that are working for you and it's like, you know, the fact that you are so willing to pass that knowledge on and encourage and inspire and uplift, that is just an amazing thing. And it just backs up, you know, everything that you're doing right now is exactly in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. I think that's beautiful, right? Thank you. And I, I think the same thing, like, 
Yeah. It's never ending. It's never ending grind, but embrace the grind. Embrace it because what would you rather be doing? I wake up 6.20 every morning mm -hmm. and I'm like, why get up early? Why get up later than that? Get up. I mean, people do their own thing, but I like to get up that early, hit my mm -hmm. cardio, make my breakfast, eat my breakfast, back to the gym, hit my workout. So it's like, I love the grind. I appreciate the grind and I strive. I, I believe for me, I grow being uncomfortable, right? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. make yourself work harder. Make your, Put yourself in situations to work harder. Mm -hmm. And um, and also, I like to motivate others to do the same. Or motivate, I, I, recently, I had someone ask me for my advice on sponsorships. Like, how do you get sponsorships? Mm -hmm. And I, 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 the advice I could give is just incorporate what you're trying. It's like, I got blessed with Bang. Bang hit me with a contract three days mm -hmm. after a, a clip went viral in the ring. I did a, I had a match, really good match Easy. in uh, Oregon. We had, we did a, uh, I got knocked each other out. I went to the corner, grabbed the energy drink, drank it, hooked up, hit up, come back on a guy. <laughs> and it went viral. Yeah. Uh, or somewhat viral, semi-viral. And I got a in contract from Bang three days later. And that just, that just happened. I didn't, I didn't do anything. They it ha it just happened. Maybe they saw it them, and they remember, saw something know. in you. What happened? They saw it and they saw something in yeah. you, right? Yes. Took that's kind of how. That's kind of how I was introduced to you. Uh, the the bang energy drinks and like you know the whole gimmick. But like now, you're not with Bang. No. You're with G Fuel. Yes. And salute to G Fuel because it seems as if that's been that's been a great family for you and they've been treating you well oh, and you've been God. doing great business with them and for them, right? Yes. Uh, what happened with Bang? If I could, like, I'm not. Like, I don't know if you could speak on that or whatever, like but it was like, it, it just felt like it was like you were with Bang. And then it's like, yo, now with G Fuel, we rock in just a new team. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, OK, that's that's cool. Like, you know, but like what what happened with that? Was that just like a now nah, I'm switched up like I'm going for the trade, you know, or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Offered a bigger bag. <laughs> so it might have been a blessing in disguise because G yeah. Fuel hits what I need to hit. That sounds okay. wrong. But G Fuel hits. <laughs> G Fuel has the fan base behind it. Yeah. So, like, Bang was, for example, Bang was directed to athletes, which is wrestling, but athletes, models, uh, mm -hmm. fitness people, that type of deal. G yeah, Fuel is sure. more directed towards fandoms. Like, okay. Like, anime, and stuff like that, right? Anime, cartoons, Sonic, mm -hmm. Mario, um, Horror, as you can see, we have the new Chucky Horror uh, G Fuel right here. Yes, so yes. They, they have a bunch of different a fan base of mm -hmm. just tons of different categories, which is beautiful. Yeah. And now I'm the first wrestler they brought on, so it's definitely something different for them to have a wrestler doing this. But they've told me several times that they are ex the C the the uh, CEO the, the chief operating guy uh, Rob is extremely happy with what I'm doing. Um, yeah. and it's just the chief operating officer. Yes, COO. COO. Uh, yeah, right. Like, yes, yes, yes. Or the, I one used of the, the Triple H's old the Triple H's old position. <laughs> yeah. No, the, the 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 higher ups are very happy with what I'm doing. They're yeah. very happy with they're very happy with my content. Um, mm -hmm. the promos. The yeah. I had a photo shoot with my fiance yesterday. Engagement shoot, and we involved the G fuels in that. So Super they're just, cool. I'm, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Wait to see the other ones. They're crazy. Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> but G Fuel has been probably one of the best things that have happened to me because just the just the combination of wrestling and the fandoms. And I did a spot with New Japan in the ring with the energy drink, and G Fuel yeah. went nuts over it. So it's just like it's all coming together so beautifully. It's like, it's like, it's like you could write a book or it's like mm. it's just like a full circle type of deal, you know? And I, for me, it's just seeing these things happen and they're just happening right in front of my eyes. And it's like, how is this happening? It's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I have to say, it just so bang, bang fell through, sadly, because there, they had some lawsuit thing going on and oh. it happened. I, I wish them well. They wish me well. No, no bad blood at all. Not, nothing. Like, we all have, love. Yeah. Hand, yeah. yeah, all love. Um, but G Fuel scooped me up right away, right after that, immediate scoop up. And went right, right to work. You know, they love what I'm doing. They love the content. They they appreciated the content. They uh, shared the content. 
They have opportunities for me. Um, I just did a commercial with Champion Clothing with them. They had a collab. And uh, so they, they're just, they're a, they're a machine. They don't That's stop. Beautiful. And there's more stuff to be announced very soon with them, with me. Yeah. That's might be, I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I haven't seen, but I don't really know how many people would get this opportunity in wrestling mm. that aren't signed. So this is something that's very, very, very big. I very much so. Very and, much so. Um, because you're a hustler, bro. You deserve it. Like you out here really getting to it. And like the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The proof is definitely in the pudding. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about wrestling for a little bit. Like the G Fuel is there. We we understand the sponsorship. We got that. You're going crazy. You know what I'm saying? I see you all over the place with your clips. You you just became the little big kaiju, little bad kaiju, excuse me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you out here doing your thing, Ken Anderson, uh, Bobby Fish, where's the you know lie? It. All sushi. of that going crazy. The sushi dipped in the, like I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> But hey, you know what? You you got to be creative, and that's yeah. super dope. That's super dope. So, but but like, what what really is the the meat and potatoes is is what you do between the ring, yes. between those ropes, right? Totally. Between those ropes, um, you uh just got a chance to mix it up with Bobby Fish, uh, about a month ago, right? Yeah. A few weeks ago, uh, Pro Wrestling Magic. Uh, watched the match. It was a dope match. Um, I really enjoyed uh, you two playing mind games with each other at the beginning of the match. Like he's like, ah, oh, Vinny's not ready. Vinny's not ready. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go so sit in the crowd, take a seat, watch you do your thing. You know, and I will come back and we can get to it. You know, collar and elbow lock up. Let's go crazy. Yeah. Um, but I I really enjoyed that match. Thank and you, uh, you. you know, I, it, you can see that the G Fuel works because he used it against you and he beat me with it. <laughs> He beats you with it. That's crazy, that, right? That match was really fun for me. I really, I, I for a while, I wanted to wrestle him because I love wrestling. I yeah. love, like, there's different styles of wrestling. Mm -hmm. And I love the gritty, grappling, technical wrestling. And I don't do it enough, but I yeah. love it. I excel at it. Um, I was trained by Cheeseburger and Delirious and John Gresham, so you would John assume. Gresham. Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> I we, getting to do that with him, mix stuff like that in there for that beginning. Like we we did some more crazier stuff towards the end, but yeah, getting to do the the gritty grappling holds locks, I love it. I love it so much. I really I really want to do it more. Um, people like that, I love to wrestle. So Bobby is someone I wanted to wrestle for a very long time. And yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, look, you stepping in there with man with the da most dangerous feet in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta I be learned. prepared. You gotta be prepared, brother. <laughs> you definitely gotta be prepared. And no, nah, you you did amazing. It was an amazing showing, of course. Um, I want to take it back a little bit though, because a few months ago, uh, you were at FWE, I believe. You won a hardcore title over there. It was a four way match, and then uh, Billy Gunn came out. I was and fired. You you got to scissor. Billy Gunn. It was the best scissoring I've ever had in my life. And the only <laughs> scissoring I've okay. ever had in my life. Okay, 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 okay. So you haven't scissored anyone since? <laughs> no. I don't think so. Is no. your fiance okay with that? The, like, you're getting married pretty soon, right? Yeah, but... she's all good with it. She was, <laughs> okay, cool. she was like, she didn't know what it was. So I posted yeah. on, post on Instagram or whatever I posted. Yeah. Oh, scissoring with Billy. <laughs> she was like, what the? <laughs> It was funny. It was funny. It was a really great moment. Billy's the man. And actually, FWE, before Bobby Fish, I wrestled Suicide. Yeah. And that one was really fun. He is really good. I was like, oh, snap. Like, he's out here healing it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely, it was fun. Yeah. Because I got kicked in the face and, and the floor, and I fell into, there was a fan who was dressed up as Nacho Libre. And yeah, he looked just sure. like him, and I fell right into his lap. It was so funny. That's that match is a really fun match. <laughs> he was great. No, Suicide's awesome. Yeah, the talent <laughs> I got to wrestle this year and last year, like Rock, I, like I'll tell you what, I will always put this match over because it's my favorite match I ever had. Okay. Rocky Romero was pro wrestling magic on IW, IWTV. You could watch it last year. Far none. That match was something special for me. Uh, wrestling Gangrel was awesome. Gangrel is a man. Yeah, I know Gangrel went crazy. Oh, my word. He's the man. I loved him as a kid, you know what I'm saying? So just, like, still seeing him, like, out here getting it is, like, it's crazy and it's dope yeah. to see. Like, 
He's no, but like he's still pretty freaking good. You know what I'm hustler. saying? It's like he's dog. a hustler. He will, yes. he will wrestle. Like he will, yes. he will wrestle. And I, Matt Seidel is someone who I've had like numerous matches with. Yes. Another one. We, we tear it up. He, we do. I love Matt Seidel because you could do grappling, you could do high flying, technical, everything you could do with him. Yeah. And, and it's just, we did it both times, everything. And it's just, he's awesome. We click. He's, he's incredible talent. And um, in my opinion, very underrated. Okay. So who's somebody that you haven't stepped into the ring with yet that you would like to step in the ring with? Do you, do you have like a bucket list? Signed, unsigned? It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's plenty of amazing, talented wrestlers yeah. out there. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't know if you have a list. Like, you know, like, list became a thing after the whole Cody thing. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, like, I don't know if you have a list like that. But if you have, like, a few people that in the I back do. of your mind, like, mm -hmm. talk to me. Who, who, who are you thinking? So, my favorite wrestler of all time is Brian Nelson. That match would be the match for of me course. to – I would be more – that would make me the happiest I've ever been in my life because he got me into wrestling. Like, he – He's the reason why I'm wrestling today. He's mm -hmm. somebody who I had a meet and greet with him. And when we, I asked him for advice and asked him his insight and should I do mm -hmm. this? I am thinking about it. I want to do it. He told you to his go words for it, right? got me to do it. Like that was yeah. it. After that, after that, into, after that meet and greet, I was signed up the next week. Oh, um, yeah. So of course, Brian Dales and somebody who I would, that, that would just make everything full circle for me. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely Ethan Page. I think he's awesome. So many people that actually really like now that you're making me do this, John Gresham, yeah. somebody, John, John Gresham again. He yeah. trained me, but wrestling him be amazing again. Like, mm -hmm. he's but he's on another level, of course. I wrestled um, ET3 twice, yes, you did, yes, you did. He helped you with the with the with the energy drink gimmick, right? He was some like, one of the people who, my ideas together, yeah. He he because, like, he said to me, pull me aside one day, like, you have it, yeah, but how do we grab it out of you? Okay, and then yeah, sure. I had a show, and he called me after, and he was like, listen, you need to make this your gimmick because it's you, and you need to, you need to start being yourself and just bring it out of you. Because, you know, I tried – in wrestling, you trial and error, like, and it was time for me to have that new thing and or be my, or finally just be myself the, 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 the way I know how to be. And that's yeah. energy drinks and energy and – Intensity, charisma, intensity, just that's how, that's how I that's that. who I am. So yeah. he, he brought it out of me. And I would love to wrestle him again. Matt Taven. I would love to wrestle him because he's Gold. just he's amazing. Gold. And a great guy too. Love him to death. He's somebody who's always been there for me when whenever, you know, when I need advice or anything. Uh Hammerstone. I would love a match again mm -hmm. with Red Titus. Okay. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he he's a machine. He is a machine. He never stops. In Matt, the way he, the way he does matches and the way he thinks about wrestling is just different than a lot of people I wrestled. So, mm -hmm. I wrestled him twice, I believe, and both times were just like different than any match I ever had. Mm -hmm. And he's, I, yeah. I believe, bar none, very underrated. And Jimmy Jacobs, that's another one I want to wrestle because he's just he's amazing wrestler and amazing character. Just the two together, just. Amazing. I, I love Jimmy Jacobs. Love yeah, him. Jimmy Jacobs is a great, like, uh, he's a great wrestler, of course, but, like, also just, like, his creative mind is is on Insane. another level. So, love yeah, him. like, you're mentioning people that it's, like, when you're in the ring with them, you're you're going to learn from them. You know what I mean? And, yep. and just working with them is going to just continuously make you better and allow you to grow. So that's super dope. That's super dope. Um, So I wanted to uh, – I wanted to talk about – because you got, uh, I think uh, – Let's see. On the fourteenth, you've got PPW. You've got what's his name, Nolan Pierce. Yeah. You excited about that? Like, what's what's going down, man? Like, I'm ready for that? it. It's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. PPW is a really good spot to wrestle at. Yes, of course. Um, very. There's a lot of great talent out of there, so I'm very excited for that match. It's gonna be a very fun one. First time stepping in the ring with him, so that'll be that. He's that'll pretty be young too. He's like 19, 20. Really? Yeah, that'd be fun. I'm excited. Yeah. Seems fast. I like it. Well, let's, uh, you know, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. I kind of wanted to play some word association, but I think I kind of changed my mind. So Pete Davidson, uh, I believe he had a, what is it? He had a, a movie on like Amazon or something like the King of Staten Island. Mm -hmm. Method Man is from Staten Island. Oh my God. Theo Rossi, the actor from Sons of Anarchy. He's from Staten Island. Rich Eisen, 
ESPN uh, former anchor, of course, he does his own thing now. Uh, uh, also from Staten Island, I think he went to like Susan something high school, whatever, whatever. Wagner, uh, yeah, yeah. There you go, Susan Wagner High. So all of these people are from Staten Island, but you know what they have in common? None of those people have a G Fuel Energy Drink sponsorship. Not one of them. What can Not I say? <laughs> what can I say, Pete? Pete, you're you get beautiful women. But you don't got the G Fuel contract. That's all that, right? I mean, it's I would collab with him some way. Oh, yeah, you know, sure. I think that would be really fun. I did mm. think about that. Um, I was featured in Staten Island News recently, last week. Yes, so you were. Like, yeah. That could, that, that could be pretty cool, but. Going crazy, man. Like, like the streets is filling you. I, I saw a guy. Uh, I saw a guy. Uh, like he does like 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 Staten Island just like commentary like from his car. He's like, yo, the weather's bad this week, y'all. Y'all probably don't want to go out tonight. Really? Saturday, da 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 da. And I'm just like watching his shorts, and he's like, yo, there's this pro wrestler, Vinny Pacifico. He's blowing up right now. Who? I need everybody to get behind him. I, I I don't know. I gotta send it to you. I gotta send I gotta it to you. It's, it, it, it's pretty dope. I was like, yo, who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, pretty cool. Uh, How do you know that? That's pretty cool. It was, I, you know, it was funny. It was like one of those videos that like pop up after I watched the documentary. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. like, you, know, uh, you know, the, the news joint, uh, SI News. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I was like, oh, snap. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, he was just like some random dude. And he's like, yo, we need to, we need everybody. We need to hold, we need the whole city to get behind him. I'm like, yo, that's, Graham. that's, that's hey, what, Graham? Yeah. I, went, I was on my phone today. Look, just yeah. like I was in between sets. I did some cardio. I'm, I'm getting my warm, my uh, cool down after the gym. I look mm -hmm. at my insights. I didn't. I don't really look at this really, but I was like curious. Like my Instagram, if you have a business page, it tells you how many people have seen your stuff. I was yeah. curious. I'm like, you know, I was curious. In the last the month, I had seventy thousand impressions. Yeah, Kill. and I'm like, seventy thousand. Who like who went on my page? Like, I don't know. Right. That's, crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. It's 70, crazy, but but again, it's just literally the the fact that you're out here hustling. You see those right, numbers yeah. like continue. Like even if you don't tap in with them and you don't like check them like often, you know, just every now and then periodically, you see like the growth of your brand just continuing to rise. You know what I mean? And it's very much deserved. Congratulations. Stay tuned. Like oh. I said before, G Fuel is gonna have something possibly groundbreaking. Okay, so. listen. Well, G Fuel is going to do something groundbreaking with you. I would like to do something groundbreaking today, right? Please. Um, so you've got the G Fuel sponsorship. Uh, we over here at the Public Enemies, not so much, right? But listen, um, I've never tried G Fuel. I work okay. 12 hour graveyard shifts and I need uh, something that will be able to uh, uh, allow and uh, help me to sustain. So what I did, I did, I went out. And I showed G Fuel some love because you show them Thank some love. You. They show you some love. And I just want, you know, just let's share the love. Um, so I went out and I got a couple of G Fuels here. Um, you got? Again, I've never tried these, uh, but I want to see if we can kind of get a little taste testing going here. This is the uh, G Fuel Spiral Dragon Fruit. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, Dragon Fruit. I got that here. Love that one. Uh, I've got the Sonic Peach Rings. So good. Love Sonic. Sonic's always super be, uh, been super dope with like the, the what, like the chili dogs and stuff like that. On so the good. TV. Sonic, Love um, the Sonic What's one is my, my fiance's favorite one out of all of them. Is it? Okay. Yes. Okay. And then this one here, I've got three of them. This one here is the uh, Pac-Man Pac Power Pellet Cherry Lollipop. Try that. Try saying that five times fast. Power right? Punch. Close enough, right? Yeah. There we go, right? So, uh, Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and give these a shot. You've tried all these, I assume, right? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Okay. So let all me right, see. So let me see. Um, I'm going to hit. I okay, got, what you got? I got strawberry guava. Strawberry okay. guava. Spider-Man flavor right here. Fire. Fire. Um, so that is strawberry guava coconut. The best okay. flavor there is. Really, so, I'm not like a fan of coconut, really. I'm a so, big, like, big coconut guy, big yeah, coconut like coconut guy. water, all that stuff. Like, get you milk, milk yes, stuff? yeah, okay, 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 for sure, for sure, you know, okay. So, so you've got uh, the, the strawberry guava, and all right, so the first one, I'm gonna try this peach rings because you said this was your fiance's favorite, so I trust her. 
Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and crack this open. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Wow. Hey, it, this really does taste like peach rings. That's crazy. This is really good. Give it to me. <laughs> this is really good. Wow. Okay. Okay, hold on. There you go. There you go. See, it's zero sugar, so it, like it has a sweetness, but it's not like overbearing. Doesn't kill you, yeah. Yeah, this is really good. I can do this. Okay, I like that one. I like that one. Let me try strawberry quab coconut. Like I said, I love this type of flavor. I love coconut. Let's see how this goes. Good. So you get that ten out of ten. This one, I'm gonna go ten out of ten on the peach rings okay. for sure. For sure, ten out of ten on the peach. This is good stuff right here. Yeah, I love. I had one before. I think I'm pretty sure, and I mm -hmm. loved it. Wow. Yeah. With this one, you get a hit of every flavor: guava, strawberry, and coconut. Like you mm. get hints of every flavor. That's fire. Okay. Okay. So what's the next wow. one here? Let's go for the. Oh, nice mine. hits. I'm gonna... Yeah. Okay, so I'll give that one a go. I'm not really, a, I'm not really a coconut guy, like I said. But um, if you uh, endorse it, I will go ahead and give it a shot. This one here is the uh, Power Pellet Cherry Lollipop. That one's good. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Nice crack of the can there. All right, and we're gonna give this one a shot. Extreme focus, performance, energy. It's good stuff. All right, and it's healthy too. Mm hmm. Okay. That one definitely tastes like one of those like cherry blow pops, like with the gum. That's what I said. Like, That's the same that, thing I said. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. I'm I'm feeling that one too. Not not as much as the peach rings, to be honest. But this one is pretty good. And like, cause like typically I feel like like cherry stuff like it can be like a little overbearing like the cherry flavor can like usually i, I think of cherry flavor and i think of like when i was a kid like like on dimatap or something like that mm -hmm. like it was like robitussin like those nasty like children's tylenol drinks or whatever you know that's what i think of but this is it doesn't have as much of a like a heavy taste as those would so this 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 is pretty good too it's nostalgia flavor yeah, that's what it is. Yep, it's bringing me back. It's bringing me back for sure. Peach Here rings is better than that one. I'm gonna give this one like an eight out of ten. Okay, but it's really, fair. it's really good. It's really good. It's definitely really good. And then uh, last here, I've got the my favorite one, the G Fuel Dragon Fruit Spyro. Right, Spyro was dope, man. Old PlayStation games and stuff like that. So good. I really rock with it. Okay. And so dragon fruit is all dragon fruit has never done me wrong. Never. Not once. So let's see. Let's see. Oh wow. No, that is good. Told you. That Yo, one's nice. Okay, so this one is giving the peach run uh, the peach rings a run for its money. I'm gonna be honest with you. I tell you what, I <laughs> really enjoy that one. I had that one at a show recently. I was like, yeah. I, I usually do like, I have my entrance and I wear the belt. So mm -hmm. I had a, I had a box that sent from G Fuel in my car in my uh, fridge. I bring it to the show. Yeah. So I put them all on my uh, I put, put them, them all on my belt. The belt. <laughs> and I grabbed this one and drank it. And I'm like, wow, that one. I, 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 I said it during my entrance too. And mm -hmm. I crack it open. And I'm on the I'm on the the post right the uh, middle rope, doing my taunt, drink the drink, and I. Yeah, I was doing my taunt. I drink that one. And I'm like, wow, that's so good. Caught you I, off guard I, I, how I good it was, right? That one. <laughs> yeah, that one's good. Oh, man. Like, I would love to be like Austin and just like <laughs> down all of these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that would make a little bit of a mess. Uh, G Fuel, I love you. Uh, you guys are great. This peach rings and uh, man, this, this spiral are really, really good. These ones are going to go here. This one, I'm, man. This one's good too, but I, I'm telling you, these two, the Sonic Peach Rings and the Dragon Fruit, those ones, those ones are top tier right there. That's crazy. There yeah. you go. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you love them. That's yeah. 
Awesome. Question for you. Um, so you, you've talked about like advice that you've gotten from like EC3 and like all these other performers, like learning from Rocky Romero and Rhett Titus being in the ring with these guys. Uh, what is some of the best advice you've been given? If I could ask, I've been get I've been given mm -hmm. to be the hardest broker in the be, be the hardest broker in the room. Mm -hmm. Do everything you can to get better. Everything. There's always something you can do to get better or further in your career. Always something. Even mm -hmm. it's the smallest thing. And don't stop. Don't give up. Because there's nothing to say about the people who are around the longest. Yeah. That's the best advice ever. That is that is that is a very good answer. That is a very good answer. Definitely. Thank you. 100 percent um let's see here what um what are your goals for the next year do you have uh an I mean, idea of where you want to be i want to get signed a year from now okay yes sir of course i guess yes, like oh I, that's my that's i think it's a lot of people's goal definitely my goal of i course. want to get my own energy drink can oh that's fine and start my own clothing line Okay. Would it be just you on the can, or do you want your own flavor? Because I'm wondering Both. what your what would your flavor be? Red velvet. Oh snap! <laughs> Yo, he's thought Why of this. Not? <laughs> he's definitely thought of this. Red velvet would be the flavor. Mm -hmm. That's fire. That's fire. Because I love red velvet cake. I love red velvet cookies. Me too. With me on the can. Red Velvet and AW, she's amazing too. Like, you know, mix it up, all that good stuff. Yeah. Now, wow, that's that's really dope. That's really dope. Okay, cool. So, so we want to get signed. Of course, everybody does. Everybody, maybe not everybody should, but you deserve it for sure. Thank I'll say that much. much. Uh, hey, listen, you keep showing up at collision tapings. Maybe, 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 maybe something happens. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so uh that energy drink of course continue to expand this uh this this uh this sponsorship this relationship that you have with g fuel you just uh, of course allow it to continue to grow and nurture that uh mm -hmm. you want to start your own clothing line eventually yeah that's it's very interesting yeah that's very interesting now, i saw i saw there was a uh you had a uh you had a photo that you had posted just the other day uh you were like in like a like a workout studio or something like that you were like big things are coming yeah is that, I mean, the, is that the shoot the that you were just uh, speaking yes. about okay all right all right all right not the not the <laughs> i was gonna not, that's no, no, no. Not, yeah that's that's something uh that's something different but it, it seems like that just looks like the tease of it just looks like that's something that's going to be really fruitful for you so it, seeing so. that it will be too mm -hmm. and i'm excited for it Super excited, super excited for you. Definitely super excited for you. Well, Vinny, that's all I got for you, brother, today, man. Listen, this has been a, a super enjoyable conversation. I'm super excited for, for you, everything man. that you've been doing. Like I said, when I when I first saw you uh, with, with like the bang uh, energy drinks and going crazy, like viral with like all of your skits and like, like continuing that and growing that with with this new g fuel thing that you've been uh doing here it's it's just been amazing to see i Thank love you. all of your skits i love seeing you go crazy in the ring i love how positive you are i love how much of a hustler you are like no honestly like I, there is not a place that i can think of that this man has not like mlw like you've been everywhere brother like again like there's certain I places and, and, and spaces that you haven't been in yet that you would love to get to that you definitely deserve to be and you will get there i can see it for you everything that you're doing right now is definitely the groundwork for your future the next five ten years you're going to be amazing you're doing great you are all right thank you back, my friend Look, it's been amazing to, to, to watch you grow, and, and I am excited uh, to see what the next year, two years, three years is like for you down the Thank line. Thank you so much, my friend. Hey, listen. Really appreciate it. Really, really. Cheers to you. Salute to your fiance and this uh, this peach rings and her endorsement of it. Salute yep. to G Fuel for making this beautiful spiral dragon fruit energy Oof. drink. Yes. And, and and just, hey, listen, continue to, to keep shining and keep going crazy, man, because honestly, we, we all love to see it and we all need to see it because you are inspiring so many others. Like even just talking to you today, I'm motivated to like just go out and get it. And I don't know if that's like partially like the conversation and some of the energy drink drink mixed in with it you know what i mean but listen i wouldn't have got these well, if i wasn't blessed with the conversation to sit here and chat with you today love it so thank you so much for that yes sir no of course <laughs> thank you uh, thank you and 
be safe. Be safe of and course. be killing it. Now, now, listen, listen, listen. Before I let you go, before I let you go, of course, uh, is there anything that you would like for the people to know that they don't know yet? Let them know where to follow you. Let them know where they can see all of your skits. Let them know. Hey, listen, you can always pick up a can of G Fuel Energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah. G Fuel please, Energy. Yeah. The code is Power Punch for a good discount. Okay, G-Fuel. there you go. There you Instagram go. Is, Instagram is Vinny Pacifico. Twitter is Vinny Pacifico One. And that's it. That's all. That's my, and Facebook, Vinny Pacifico. And like that, we gone.